Today we are here with Dustin Connell and today he is here to talk to our freshman class about the animal shelter and what's going on. So can you explain a little bit of why you're here? Uh, I'm here to discuss uh, shelter overcrowding, pet overcrowding, uh, ways to alleviate that and ways to improve adoption. Um, and I have to ask like what problems is the animal shelter facing in our area right now? Uh, all shelters face severe overcrowding due to the large number of pets in the area. Uh, there are more pets in the United States than there are human beings. Okay. And how could we alleviate this problem and like to tell our viewers what we could do? Getting your pet spay and neutered. Number one thing you can do. Thank you. And how can we contact you or how can we get in touch if we want to know more about this? We're here in Belton on Loop 121 next to the Bell County Court Complex or you can reach us at 933-6778. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm here with our digital media student, Haley Lopez, and we're here to ask her just what she's doing for her digital media project. So Haley, what exactly are you doing for your digital media project? Um, we are basically creating a different presentation using all these different programs. Some, some of them are on a poster board, some of them are just um, on Premiere, and it's going to be raising awareness about the homeless animals in the Bell County area, or local areas, I guess. So can you tell me uh, just what exactly your final presentation is going to be, or if you guys have one? Um, I'm pretty sure that our final one is going to be that we're making a PSA, and we'll be showing it to parents when they come here with the eighth graders. And, and I'm pretty sure we'll have our posters out there as well to kind of give information. OK. So can you tell me just how the technology is going to be incorporated into this project? Um, we are making our own PSA videos on Premiere Pro as well as using other programs that were found by Mr. Pryor to create infographics about using information about statistics, things of the such. So. Cool. Uh, have you found any research like that or what are some things that you've learned throughout this project? A lot of sad stuff actually. Oh. <laughs> like, you know, it would just give you statistics on how many are how many cats and dogs are euthanized a year, which I think is like something along four million or more are euthanized. I know, it's really sad. It's really sad. And you know, things about separately cats that go to shelters and dogs that go to shelters and just overall the information on that. Okay. Well, hey, thank you, Haley. Appreciate it. Hey guys, I'm here with our digital media student, Nathaniel Farnham, and we're here to ask him uh, what he's doing for his digital media project at this moment. So uh, can you share with us, Nathaniel, some of the information that you found during this animal project? Well, we found that most of the dogs are, well, most of them get adopted, but almost half, well, a little less than half are euthanized. So whenever we want to help people adopt the dogs that's so then they don't get euthanized and yeah okay and last question can you share with me just uh what, what is one of the important things that you were able to pull out from this from this project i was able to pull out that most of these dogs are pretty happy at some animal shelters but most of them just want a home and well a place to stay forever all right thank you nathaniel Hi, I am here with freshman English teacher, Ms. Ciccarello. So we're here to talk with her on what her students might be doing. Ms. Ciccarello, I have to ask you, what month is it? National Poetry Month, yay! And what exactly does that mean to our viewers? It means that every Friday we have open mic night, or open mic in the classroom, where we read our poems, poems that we wrote. Yes. So what is open mic? Is this what your students are doing? Yes, they may read a poem or show a video that they created, but it's a place to showcase their own work. So can you give us a backstory on what Open Mic really is? 
When I lived in Southern California, um, there was a place right outside the UCLA Film School called Ludacris Cafe. And every Thursday they had screenings for students to show their student films and read their student poems. And it got so big that there was like a line out the door and down the street. The public loved it. So my vision is to start that here. And we're hoping that we can get that going at Arusha's too. In fact, we go there um, this week, this year it'll be on May 1st. We had a lot of conflicts, so there's only one date. But Friday, May 1st, we'll be going there and hoping lots of people show up. So you're taking this outside the classroom and into the community? Yes, we're going to be at Arusha's. Come and watch. So you hear that? You can take this to Arusha's and showcase your poetry and or videos. Yay, poetry. Thank you, Mr. Carella. What's your last name, Nathaniel? Farnham. Farnham? Mm -hmm. Farnham. Nathaniel Farnham. All right, hey guys, I'm here with Nathaniel Farman. Right. Farnham. 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 Got it. Hey guys, I'm here with our digital media student, Daniel Farnham. And Daniel? we're. <laughs> Nathaniel, what the heck? How do I go from Nathaniel to Daniel? <laughs> Honey, bunny, you gotta no, relax. No, oh, wait, do you wanna take this? Yeah. Okay. Nathaniel. Oh, I almost said it again. Nathaniel Farnham. Okay. Yeah.